Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, first disclaimer, I just want to say I'm kind of sick right now, so if my voice sounds really deep, <laughs> that is probably because of that. I'm getting over a plague that has come upon me from my school. Thank you very much. Okay, so today's video is going to be so exciting because I'm going to be doing how I did my makeup in middle school slash the beginning of high school. Oh my god, don't even get me started. Like, I thought I knew everything about makeup. Me and my friends, we'd always talk about like wet and wild eyeshadow. What is the palette called? Walking on eggshells and we were like, oh yeah, baby lips and BB creams and elf kabuki brushes. Like we were all about that stuff. Like me and my friend Abby, me and my friend Ellie. We loved watching like YouTube video, hopeful guru. Like, oh my God. It made me so happy because they just bring me back to just really good days. And just like when I first started getting into makeup, getting into YouTube and like I have just progressed a lot. So I have, and I'm gonna insert like some pictures here of like what I look like in like sixth, seventh and eighth grade. And also like freshman year of high school, um, I first started wearing makeup actually in sixth grade. I'm repping, I'm actually wearing one of my old shirts that I used to wear all the time. I used to rock a major side part. When I like first started wearing makeup, I remember it was during summer, I think of summer of sixth grade, and I asked my mom if I could start wearing makeup, and she's like, sure! So all I wore was literally, I don't know, I used to like use these like old Lancome palettes because that's the makeup that my mom uses is Lancome. So I used to use one of these old Lancome palettes, and literally what I'd do is I'd just take a shimmery color and just put it all over my lid. Like, that's it. I would just do a champagne color on my lid, like a sparkly color on my lid, and that is it. And that is literally what I wore every day. I didn't do any mascara, I didn't do any foundation, I did nothing. I just wore eyeshadow on my eyeballs. Then I did wear makeup to school, I actually did. And I kind of wore a lot, like, I don't know why, like my mom let me do that, or like, I don't know if anyone could tell. But okay, so 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, this is the makeup that I wore. I used to use these Maybelline Cover Stick Concealers. They're really old. <laughs> like, they look like they look like a little lipstick, but they are concealer. And I used to use these all the time because I had I still have really dark circles under my eyes. So in the morning, I would this, ah, this is gonna make me cringe. I literally go like this. Oh, and these are so like stiff too. These aren't like creamy at all. Like no. And I used to literally go like this. <laughs> and I would wipe. I would wipe. Ah! Go like this. And wipe. Like <laughs> this is what my mom did. So I did this. And I would like go around like a little raccoon. Then after I would take this powder. This is Lancome powder in matte honey three and It can't and it comes with like a little sponge. I would literally like Hard like get a lot of product and just <gasps> And just wipe it all over my face Like I would like cover it under here to cover the dark circles like and I would wipe like no padding, no anything. This feels so wrong. But this is literally what I would do. This is what I would do. <laughs> this does not look good. And then I would do mascara and I would do mascara first and then curl my lashes. Like, ooh, get me the chills because like, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna crunch off my eyelashes. I'm not gonna do that now, I'll do that last because there's still more makeup that we need to do. Brows were super hairy. Like, I've never gotten them done. I was, like, major. Like, I was on the verge of having a unibrow. Like, I had really thick, really crazy and hairy eyebrows. And I was too scared to get them done. I don't know, a little wimp. This is what I wore 6th, 7th, and 8th grade almost every day to school. And my friends always say, oh, my God, Ronnie, you look so pretty and stuff like that. I'm just like, oh, my God, thanks. Like, were they blind? All right, so I took all that makeup off. Now we're going into freshman and the beginning of sophomore year. To be honest, sophomore year was a blur. Like, I really don't remember what I did with makeup, but I clearly remember freshman year. Still repping the side part. Still, this was when Brandy Melville was, like, so hot. So, of course, I had to get my Meow Brandy Melville shirt that I actually bought for my first welcome dance at my high school freshman year, I remember. And I wore my dark wash Hollister jeans with a belt. I clearly remember my makeup from freshman year because I remember I used to get so excited to come home after every Friday and do my makeup to go to the football games. So, 
I would use the Maybelline BB Cream as my foundation, and I didn't know that there was such thing as a beauty sponge, as a beauty blender, or whatever, so I would use my fingers, my fingers, to blend this into my skin. Okay, this is gonna feel so wrong. Oh my gosh, this feels so weird to me, but I literally just like put it on my fingers and it feels so weird. For concealer, I would use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, but I don't have one like with me. So I'm just going to use just the regular Maybelline Better Skin. And I did the circles under my eyes. Again, didn't know what highlighting was. Didn't know what contouring was. And that was like my goal with makeup is to learn how to contour. Like in middle school, I always got made fun of for how like chubby my cheeks were. So the first thing that I wanted to learn in makeup was how to contour so my cheeks didn't look so chubby. Then after that, I would take the Matte Honey 3 powder again with my e.l.f. brush. I thought this was a gift sent from God. I thought this was the best thing ever in the world and I would literally pack on the powder all over. I would do full out eyeshadow and I used to use this elf palette and I kind of am upset with myself because I threw it away. Let's have this Ulta palette that I'm just going to use because it's almost the same. And I would just get any champagne shade and just put it all over my lid. I don't remember what brush I used to put like the brown in my crease, but I would use something like this and just take a regular brown and just put it right in my crease. Oh my god. Do you see this? And I'll just put it in my crease. It wouldn't be the ah! It wouldn't be this dark. It wasn't this dark. Trust me. After that, I would line my top lash line with brown eyeliner or sometimes black. I used to use a black elf eyeliner, but so I would just do the waterline. I would just line it. Then I'd line my waterline, and I would do tons of mascara. Okay. Then after mascara, I would do nothing to my brows. I would just comb them out with. This thing, for lips, I would either use, I used, I even used this in middle school. I would either use a pink baby lips, and mind you, these are pigmented, or I would just use this uh, Color Whispers little, like, little lipstick and one size fits petal. I'm just gonna throw it back and use this. This smell brings back, like, this smell reminds me of eighth grade. I don't remember if I used blush. But if I did use blush, it was this one, and it was in A Plum, so we're just gonna do it. I really can't see it that well, to be honest. And I'd blend it up, and blend it on my jawline. i put it on my nose. This is literally how I did my makeup freshman year. Like, no highlight, no contour, like, no blending? <laughs> Well, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I thought this was so funny. This was so fun to pull back all the old products. This is just really fun just to kind of just go back and just where my love for makeup just all started and just began. I don't know. I just think this is really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed and seen the embarrassing pictures. Oh my gosh. I used to think I was some hot stuff. I used to think I was like the cutest girl around. <laughs> that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe. That will be greatly appreciated. So yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.